I'm going to demonstrate how to import a delimited file into Active Directory. So we start with a delimited file, which is essentially a text file that is separated by delimiting any characters. So here's my test CSV file. This you can create in Excel. And the first line needs to identify the Active Directory variables for the different attributes of the object, which is the user object we're going to create. So the given name for this first person is Tim. The surname for this first person is Harry. And then this is something strange I stumbled upon. Name is what's displayed when you take a look at the Active Directory users computers. So if I tab over to Active Directory user computers under Server Manager, this is the name column. So this is what you're going to see show up in the list of names. But then when you open up the display name, so we'll name this guy Bob Admin. Okay. Is what shows up when you double click on the object. It identifies the first name and last name in the display name field. So just for my own purposes and wanting to see it in the list in the name field I want their full name and then display name when I open up the properties of that account I'll see that full name as well so here I have name oops, name is going to be Tim Perry and then the display name is also going to be Tim Perry so I would just in Excel do a equals whatever this cell happens to be and then the last thing is the SAM account name, which is first initial last name. Again, you can use the concatenate Excel format to bring the first name dot last name, first three letters of the last name, something else. You can play around with that. So export this as a delimited file, and you get something like this. To make sure that the PowerShell works, we want to make sure that we install the PowerShell features. So if you go underneath features, make sure that you add a feature and you want to choose the Windows PowerShell integrated scripting environment and the remote server admin tools. That will give you the Active Directory command line tools that you can use within PowerShell. The Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell as well. So in install both those features. Once you have those installed, you can select start and you should have the Active Directory module. Should be underneath administrator tools and it should be the Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. Open that up. That opens this up. I changed directories to my scripts folder on the C drive. As you can see right up here is the C drive scripts. So this is where I am. Change directory scripts. This is the folder I'm in. If I do a DIR, I can see what I'm looking for. So there's my test.csv. To make sure this works, you're going to use the import-csv command. Hit the tab key. That makes sure that you're going to type the command correctly. Notice how everything capitalized the first letter. I did that by hitting the tab key, and it went through all of the available commands within PowerShell. I'm going to hit the space, and then I'm going to use the TST. Hit the tab key, and notice it puts the dot slash, kind of like similar to Linux local directory. So I'm going to use the import csv dot slash test, and this is going to display the contents of my test file. If it displays the contents of my test file correctly with the correct attribute, then I know that things are going to work. All right, so this next command is fairly long. So what I'm going to do is open it up. The command I'm going to use at the top while I work through this. So I'm going to clear the screen, and I'm going to type import dash csv test pipe it I'm going to use the new ad user command space and what this is going to do is it's going to this pipe is going to redirect the delimited file into the new ad user command and then I'm going to add a few additional variables in order to make these active directory users that I'm adding in there usable right away. I'm going to hit the dash enabled 
space dollar sign capital true. This is going to enable the user. By default, when you use AD user command, the new AD user command imports the users, but they're all disabled. And then I'm going to use the dash account password space. Now the account password variable, if I use that, I have to import a secured and encrypted password string. Well, I don't have a secure password string. I have a ASCII plain text. So I'm going to use this option, parentheses, convert to dash secure string space. And then this is my password. So I want all my users to have the capital P-A-S-S-1-2-3 -S password when they first get their account and log in. Space dash as plain text space dash force. So I'm going to force this command to use the plain text P-A-S-S-1-2-3. -S okay, and then I'm going to add the just a couple other variables. Just an example, you can use other variables. There's a whole list of them on the uh, uh, TechNet website, you can take a look at them. So city is going to be Fenimore, and I'm in the state of Wisconsin. WI. So I'm going to hit enter on this, and I don't get any errors, so no news is good news, and I'm going to tab over to server manager, click on users, and refresh, and there's my new users. There's Bob Smith. Let's open him up. We can see that the display name showing Bob Smith, the account, login, B. Smith, and they are not locked. Account disabled is not checked. So here's another variable you might want to set. User must change password and next login. So you can throw that option in there and that will probably be a dollar sign true variable as well. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope it becomes something useful that you can use.